Steve, we've got the XYZ SMX 2500 here. Is this, is this your most popular selling machine? It is one of the most popular. Um, the 3500 and the 2500 um, are the biggest sellers in the range. Is, is it a two axis, three axis? What's the configuration? It's a definite three axis. Um, we've got 560 mil in the Z axis and 760 in the X and 400 in Y. Now, is there, may sound like a bit of a controversial question, but is there a market for this type of machine now, or, or do people tend to buy machine in centres? or where, where does it fit? There's a massive market for semi-CNC machines with the prototrack control. Why uh, is that? Well, they'll take manual machinists and they'll train them up in a couple of days to be actually a CNC machinist as well. So the, the, the control, I know it is a big factor. How You said a matter of days. Is it very quick to learn how to become a CNC machine? The way the control is configured, it's a question and answer. You need to know which, which way is X, which way is Y, which way is Z, and then you're up and running. And is there any limitations on the type of parts you can machine on here and materials? I notice we, we've got a piece of nylon on there, but is there, is there, is there any limits? No, it's all down to speed and feed and the depth of cut. Uh, this particular machine is a three horsepower, so it's, it's more powerful than the, the standard Bridgeport two horsepower. So it will do all materials, just down to speeds and feeds. And you can use this in a similar way you could use a manual mill too? Definitely, just by winding the handles and putting on a feed. So you've almost got the best of both worlds? You have got the best of both worlds. Three reasons why people buy these machines, Steve? Price, usability and uh, reliability. Brilliant, thanks for your time. No problem, thank you.